It's total political correct mind control to do this. So now that Hillary's going to be there, Joe Biggs is going to be there covering it. Now, this is short notice, but you can just Google. We're going to post under this as well uh, the address of where they're meeting. We've got the article right here out of BuzzFeed, and we're going to, again, add the address below this here on YouTube. Try to get out there at 11 a.m. That's when she arrives. It goes until about 2 o'clock. And just let folks know that it's not racist to have a border. Uh, what's racist or beyond racism is to say we've got to pay for anybody, whether they're from Germany, China, the Middle East, Mexico, wherever. The biggest group of immigrants now is ch Chinese. Yeah. And the biggest group is 10,000 women a month coming here to have their baby and have it all paid for. Well, I'm not against Chinese people. I fight so China has liberty and freedom so they don't sell their political distance organs. Uh, so it's it's just crazy. We're here to stand up against this. So I'll be live on the radio slash TV, Infowars.com, covering at 11 to 2. Joe's going to be out there with his Hillary for Prison t-shirt. Product placement available at Infowarsstore.com. Your purchase makes it possible to have reporters like this. So, Joe, what are you planning to uh, do out there? I know it's short notice, but you want to get folks rallied, at least you know, 20, 30, 40 people that are Infowars in San Antonio to come out and join you. Where are you going to be? Well, right here, if you go to uh, right here, uh, 1230 tomorrow, the historic Sunset Station. So first, you're going to have a Q&A with the Hispanic Chamber. That's going to start at 11 a.m. Then she's going to have her own event that's going to move over to the historic Sunset Station at 1230. So I want to encourage everyone to come out. This will basically be like a uh, anti-Hillary flash mob. Everyone come out if you got your uh, Hillary for Prison t-shirt on. Anti-Hillary flash mob, San Antonio. Yep. So come out tomorrow, be in support of that, show that you don't like her, that you don't want her to be president because she keeps flip-flopping on everything, she's evil, she lies about everything, and we're sick and tired of it. Let her see how the American public truly feels about her. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. There's no doubt that our country is in serious trouble right now. And if you're wondering how on earth we ever got in this situation, well, I'll tell you how. When the Democrats showed their true colors, you got angry and you elected Republicans. And then when the Republicans showed their true colors, you got angry and elected Democrats. And when anyone suggested to you that both parties were corrupt, and that neither side were looking out for your best interest, you acted like they were crazy. But the real definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's why it is vitally important that you wake up America and break the matrix. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv, and The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Featured story on Infowars.com, and this was also picked up by the Drudge Report today. EU diplomat, my government believes Obama is quite mentally unwell. This is by Steve Watson. A former NSA intelligence analyst has claimed that a senior European diplomat told him that the entire government of a European country considers President Obama to be literally mentally unwell. John Schindler, a security expert and whistleblower who now writes for the Daily Beast, has claimed that a senior EU official from an undisclosed country also inquired about impeachment proceedings, saying that the nation believes Obama is not fit for office. The wording indicates that the opinion is not that of a single person, but rather the whole government of whichever European country the diplomat is from. So this has made waves because Schindler is not basically just, you know, a kook on Twitter tweeting out some speculation. He's a former US Naval War College lecturer and is known to have many high-level military and government contacts. So this is somebody in a position to be fed extremely credible information. And it's not the first time that there's been speculation over Obama's mental health. Last year, psychologist Dr. Gina Loden told Lou Dobbs that Obama's behavior suggests he's not sane. Here's the clip. Some of his behavior seems um, irrational to me. It seems beyond that of just a typical narcissistic, arrogant, sort of, I'm a leader of a big country and I feel tyrannical at the moment kind of attitude. It really seems to me like this president is demonstrating behavior that is not only anti-American, but irrational and erratic and, and perhaps uh, not exactly what we might want to deem sane. Now, this question over Obama's mental stability has been one that's been percolating for some time. And here's John Bowne with a special report on how several other analysts have also scrutinized Obama's sanity. It's soon. Impeach him. Yeah. Uh, really? 
Really? For, for, for what? <laughs> I mean, think about that. You, you're going to use taxpayer money to sue me for doing my job <laughs> while, while you don't do your job. President Obama's questionable sanity is now not just being noticed by mental health professionals. Some of his behavior seems um, irrational to me. It seems beyond that of just a typical narcissistic, arrogant sort of, I'm a leader of a big country and I feel tyrannical at the moment kind of attitude. Demonstrating behavior that is not only anti-American, but irrational and erratic and, and perhaps uh, not exactly what we might want to deem sane. Or political activist and former presidential nominee Lyndon LaRouche. If you move this president, Obama, out of office on the basis of his charge that he's insane, that's under the 25th Amendment, Section 4, he qualifies for expulsion from the presidency on the, on the basis of that. Or best-selling author and former U.S. State Department official Steve Pachenik. Obama. The minute he talks about his conspiracy theory or silliness or whatever he wants to say, then what happens is it repercusses back to him and it opens up his own narcissistic vulnerability, which is a fancy way of saying, listen, the more you pump yourself up, stupid, the more you're going to be vulnerable to the American public asking questions of what did you do in Chicago when you were growing up? while you were married, before you are married, before you were educated, what kind of education did you really have? Let's look at really what you did because the more stupid things you say and you do to the American public, the more vulnerable you become. And go ask Axelrod, who's not the brightest guy in the world, and ask your own heads of national intelligence who remain there because they get pensions and they get double pensions. These are not the same guys from the 90s and 80s work for Bush and Reagan who really sacrificed their lives. These are guys who earn their pensions, remain there, and really have never been in the outside world. So I want this president to keep on attacking me and you and the American public to come out with more and more stupidity because underneath it all, he's not just a liar. He knows he's a sociopath. He knows that from the day he was born, he's a sociopath. You don't get to be president of the United States unless you want to manipulate the thief and lie. But this is not a man who's basically all that bright. In the same way Condoleezza was not very bright. We know Bush Jr. was stupid. Clinton was very bright, but he's a bright liar. This man is not even a bright liar. But now an entire country has voiced its concern. John Schindler, a security expert and whistleblower who now writes for the Daily Beast, has claimed that a senior EU official from an undisclosed country also inquired about the impeachment proceedings, saying that the nation believes Obama is not fit for office. Schindler tweeted out the revelation Monday. It read, had a senior EU diplomat, old friend, ask me today, how does your impeachment work? My government believes Obama is quite mentally unwell. In fact, the submissive domesticated Obama supporters at this point have to be suffering varying degrees of psychosis. You would have to be delusional to ignore Obama's shrouded upbringing by communist Muslims. His former identity as Barry Sotero, an Indonesian foreign exchange student with confidential college records that rose to prominence, traversing Marxist socialist circles catapulted into the political landscape due to funds provided by shadowy foreign backers and New World Order strategist George Soros. President Obama has now shown almost all of the cards in his hand after decimating the U.S. military, aiding and abetting the assault of the U.S. Constitution, increasing our national debt, creating a mandatory health care tax to destroy the middle class, engaging in divide and conquer leadership, and overseeing the policies and trade deals that serve as a Trojan horse for an emerging corporocratic global government. You would have to be mentally ill to oppose prosperity. Humanity has an unlimited potential, massively overshadowing the potential of the New World Order beast's technocratic eugenics plan. Our sovereign individual national identities have to be maintained and developed. It is only through this method of human innovation that all of our greatest and sanest achievements have been obtained. John Bound for Infowars.com